Good morning to all young Earth fans, just some fun here. I'm today to give all of you a spoiler for today's episode of the CBS Daytime Drama Young Earth. So here it is. At the station, Paul and Christine kiss. She wants to pick up their pro little project unless she's changed his mind by having a baby. Paul says it's been a privilege to get to know Dylan, but it would be a special play, special to play a role in the child's life from the beginning. A kiss, Harding enters with a background check on Joe. He's either a good guy or too good to be true. Paul tells him to dig harder. At the club, Joe needles Kane in the gym by wasting his talents working there. They spire and bicker about Dylan whether, and whether Joe's business is about Avery. Joe said they're, says they're redoing the whole warehouse district. King, he tells Kane it's time to get out of kiddie pool. And Dan, at the bar, Abby finds Stitch planning his dinner with Victoria. He says whether he tells her it won't make a difference, she may stand up to him. They sit down and they bicker whether Victoria belongs with Billy. Ben stands up to it, it says the truth is coming out. She mocks him for having numerous versions of the truth. Ben says telling Victoria will cost him, but he's willing to pay the price of love. Nearby, Neil and Devon discuss his grail class. Neil wants to be, be able to read to the baby. He'll have Hillary. He'll have Hillary. He'll have with Hillary. Devon drops something. Neil teases him. Kane appears as Neil asks when they get to meet his girlfriend. At the op then after at the Avery's office, she tells Dylan they will give Joe a legal fight for Crimson Lights. Dylan says her ex isn't just after real estate. Avery admits he could be striking back at Dylan. She kisses him and sends him out. So she built she she can build a case. She is researching historical landmarks when Joe enters they bicker about her fighting for Dylan. She, Joe asks, What if it becomes extremely personal? He calls Dylan a glorified barista as they argue heatedly. Joe says she bailed him on him just like she did on Nick Newman. And will Dylan and what will on Dylan? She slaps him. Joe notes her passion. She still has feelings for him. He kisses her. Wow. You know, I think, you know, I think this is a, um, I think probably Avery might leave Dylan for Joe, I believe. That's why I think. And then at Jabot, at Jabot, Marine hollers at Victoria that Kelly didn't kill her father. She was away at school. Victoria, and then Victoria realized it was Maureen who killed her husband and let her son take the blame. Victoria dies to police. Maureen grabs it. And she says, Don't. Victoria invites her to give her a reason then. They argue until Maureen blurts out she killed Ben and Kelly's father to save him. Amazing. It's really amazing. Marine, so Marine was bad all along. She killed Ben's father. And 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 I and I always thought that she that she set set Ben up. But she took the blame for him. Good twist. Very good twist. I never saw it coming. And then and and then they argue until Marine or, I mean like she blurts and then and Marine said said she says she abused her and then start started hitting on Ben. She thought Kelly was next to was next so she sent her away. Marine describes the night 
her father, the father died. Ben punched him and ran off after the father collapsed. Marine set the building on fire. Victoria is sorry for her suffering, but it's not over. She took Ben's life as well. Marine gets angry. They argue. Marine follows Victoria downstairs and locks her in the supply closet. Elsewhere, cl elsewhere, Kong flashes to Javon and Hillary Clip kissing. He enters Hillary's office and opines that he should be helping Neil. Hillary tries to get rid of him. Colin talks about the accident mending the fences between her and Lily. Enjoy the rest of your day, he says. Hillary calls Devon and tells him that she's got a strange visit from Colin. He couldn't know about us, could he? She says, or Devon. I think I think even I think maybe even Devon said it or maybe Hillary said it, I don't know. Then at the club, Devon hangs up from Hillary. Neil thinks it was his girlfriend. Nearby, Abby tells Ben that Victoria is the luckiest girl in the world. If the kind of love he's talking about exists, Ben thinks he thinks Victoria is ready. He feels Abby knows nothing about love and gives advice that could hurt people. He tells her not to talk to him about love. By the door, Colin stops Divine and makes a cryptic comment. King asks what his father wanted. Divine lies that he has a business proposition. Divine joins Abby at the bar. She wants to know what love feels like. What am I missing? Divine says it's dangerous, but if it's real, you know someone will be there to catch you. She's not sure she's been in love. Later, Hardin happens all along. They have an exchange. He says if he was sitting on her, they'd be happy leaving together. She rolls her eyes. Then, Paul and Christine are kissing when Dylan enters, the, enters Paul's office. It's about Joe Clark. Christine goes. Dylan says Avery is trying to block Joe from buying up the warehouse district. Paul says Joe checks out. They agree Avery can handle this. Then, Neil visits Hillary at Jabot. He thinks, he thinks they should invite Divine and his lady over for dinner. Downstairs, hammers on a supply closet and implores her to open it for the baby's sake. There's an incoming call from Ben on Vicky's phone. Ring tosses it in the trash. Well, that's my little spoiler for all of you. Hope you all of you enjoyed today's episode of The Young and the Restless. All you have to do is subscribe to me, Justin Fleming. I can give you updates of what's going on, what's happening on The Young and the Restless. Come out of here, peace.